Well, the season's almost here, but we have to tell you how we think the Bills will do. So, Murph, give us your season prediction. Yeah, I think they're going to do well. I got them at 13 wins and four losses. And a word of caution here, they may start out like 3-3, three and three, but they'll get better as the season moves along. The schedule lightens up a little bit. They'll get the Tredavious White back, maybe a break in time for the new offensive coordinator. But I'd say the Bills go 13-4 and four this season. Yeah, I've got them going. Just one win less, 12-5. and five. I really like their schedule this year. They're going up against the AFC North, which a couple of teams are in transition a little bit this year. They're going up against the NFC North, which I think is winnable in three of those four games. And then I think the AFC East is a year away from really competing with the Bills for a divisional crown like the Dolphins or, or, or the Patriots. So I'll, I'll take them at 12-5. and five. I'm a pessimist by nature, I guess. I'm the party pooper of the bunch. I have them at 11-6, and six, which is still a really good record. But weird things happen in an NFL year. Remember Jacksonville last year? So that's why I'm going to give them a little bit longer of a leash. But we'll check in now with Dom and Bree for their predictions. The Bills coming with very high expectations. Week one through week eight, those are going to be your toughest opponents. A tough Miami team, a healthy Ravens team. Got to get through the Chiefs. You got to get through Green Bay. Therefore, I'm picking the Bills to go 13 and four overall. When it comes to this Thursday facing the reigning Super Bowl champs, don't think it's going to be a very high scoring game. Bills are going to take it 27 23, if you ask me. That banner hanging is going to be motivation enough. Now hear me out, guys. I know this prediction for the season is going to sound like, oh, the new guy just wants to win over Bill's Mafia everywhere. But you're the number one preseason ranked team for a reason. You bring back the reigning top defense in the NFL. 14-3 and three is absolutely the expectation, and I think that's what the Bills do because anything less than that within a couple games, you have to look in the mirror and start thinking, where did we go wrong? Now, in terms of Thursday, against the defending Super Bowl champion L.A. Rams. 31-17, that's the score there. I think the Bills' defense does a better job holding the Rams' offense compared to what we're going to see from Aaron Donald containing Josh Allen. The offense will outpace them, 31-17, in the City of Angels. Two picks for the Bills. I feel like that ends, Joe. I feel like that ends. you got to throw it to the heel for this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the Rams in this one. I, I think the Rams being at home, you know, the, the Super Bowl celebration, I think their team is still really stinking good with their offense. I think their receivers and, and Matthew Stafford is going to be really tough to contend with for the defensive backs, for the cornerbacks, I should say, on the Bills. Hey, Joe, I know the Rams are good, but I think the Bills are really good, too. I think the Bills are going to win this one like 28-24, a matchup between two of the NFL's best, and I think the Buffalo defensive line will have a really big game against the Rams' offensive line. I'm also picking the Bills 27-26 to because that's what the line is for the over-under. I just kind of divided it and was like, yeah, that seems like it makes sense, but I do think the Bills are a little bit of a better team. Thank you for watching our first episode of the year, but guess what? We're going to be back every single week for leading the charge in the point after. For John Murphy, for Joe B, I'm Matt Bovey. Have a great week.